Welcome back to Speedbuilt Saturday. I'm your host, Big Gamer Girl, and the way that I said this made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Today, we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. This is kind of like a detour from the type of content I usually do, but let's be honest, you're not really watching the build anyway, and you're just here to listen to me spill the tea. But today, we're gonna talk about something I'm a little bit late to, but it's about how Sims players in the Sims community have actually doxed a very famous mod creator. I don't know know if you've ever heard about this mod. It's a very, it's a very obscure mod. Literally nobody knows about it. I don't know. It's called Wicked Whims. I, I don't I don't know if you've ever heard about that. Not like I've ever used it. I would ne I have never you never I've, I've never ever used it. The Wicked Whims mod, which by the way, if you don't know what it is, honestly, just don't even bother looking it up. Your poor virgin eyes are better without it. It's made by a very famous mod creator called Turbo Driver. I like to think that Turbo Driver is kind of like the messiah of Sims modding. That and Twisted Maxi but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. And if you didn't know this and you don't play with mods, usually what happens is when a new pack comes out or a new big update happens, all of your mods kind of break. It's not a problem with the modders themselves. It's just the way that game code works, where you make a mod that alters pre-existing game code that EA has made. But then when EA changes the code, obviously the mod is going to break because it's not able to do the thing it was referencing. Does that make sense? Probably doesn't, but honestly, it doesn't fucking matter. All you need to know is that when an update comes out, mods break break. That's just how it happens, okay? Which is why whenever an update comes out, it's always recommended that you take your mods folder out of your game and wait for the mods to get updated before putting them back in. It's just standard procedure. If you've ever modded a game ever, you know that this is how it works. This isn't a spoiler alert. This isn't some crazy catch 20. You know what I mean? It's more like catching these hands. You should know how this works. If you mod, obviously. Interrupts you real quick. Sunday, August 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be participating in a charity live stream to raise funds for Doctors Without Borders, which helps bring medical aid to those who need it the most. I'm gonna be playing Monster of the Week with an all Arab cast over on twitch.tv slash wordfangirl. If you love tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons and want to help out a really good cause, be sure not to miss it. So for the most part, whenever a new pack comes out or a new update comes out, you can't really play your game with mods. You have to wait. And since a lot of people's saves depend on mods because you guys have a modding addiction, and honestly, same. I'm, I, I, I sound like I'm mad at you guys. I don't think you guys did anything. I play with mods too. Sometimes you are just not able to play your saves because you're waiting on the mods to get updated, which it kind of sucks. But at the same time, that's the risk you inherently take when you play with mods. The Sims Love Struck changes quite a few things about attraction and this and that, whatever. And and Wicked Whims relies on those kind of mechanics. So obviously, when Love Struck came out and they released the update for The Sims 4 Love Struck, Wicked Whims was broken. Or was it Wonderful Whims? It was one of Turbo's mods. I'm pretty sure it was Wicked Whims. So that basically means before you can crank one out, you just kind of had to sit tight and wait. Well, Turbo Driver, I don't know why I said it like that. Ryan Gosling was on vacation when the update hit. So their update was gonna be a little bit late. So people couldn't play with Wicked Whims until they got back from their vacation and they updated the mod. And usually, you know, you could be frustrated with everybody. A normal fucking person would just fucking wait. That is not what happened. Basically, their Patreon got flooded with really awful mean comments, basically saying like, oh, you get paid so much from Patreon. You should have done this as soon as possible. This is unacceptable. You should get off of your vacation. You should fix it, blah, 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 blah. And eventually, apparently somebody doxed them. And if you don't know what doxing is, it basically means somebody leaked your fucking address. You know, something that, you know, is private it and you shouldn't tell people you're, I don't know if you knew this, I don't know if you've ever taken like an online safety course, but you don't tell strangers your address because you don't know what people are going to do with that, okay? And somebody leaked their address. Why? Why might you ask? Well, because they didn't update Wicked Whims, obviously. That's a very, very normal and rational reaction to not being able to watch Digital Sims Prawn. And it wasn't just Turbo Driver that was harassed. I'm pretty sure Turbo was the only one that was actually doxxed, but other Sims creators were being harassed because they weren't pushing the updates fast enough. Now, obviously I'm not a modder. I don't know how to mod. I barely know how to use Google Docs, okay? But what I do know is that coding is a bitch. You write like one thing wrong in a string of code and the whole thing breaks, okay? So it's a very delicate process. So the Sims team actively changing the code, which is in the right to do, by the way, because it's their game and they're literally updating it because you guys can't stop complaining that the game is bugged. So they release patches to fix the bugs. But that in turn means that mods will start breaking 
working and then you know it's gonna take some time this type of thing isn't a thing where you can just go on your pc like da 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 i'm turbo driver i'm just gonna type in fix wicked whims onto the fucking console commands and it works no it takes a bit of time so other mod creators are also getting harassed because they didn't update the fucking mods almost immediately which is wild to me and you might be like why are you talking about this i'm talking about it because it's actually fucking ridiculous and weird it's very weird like okay the sims community being toxic isn't like some sort of revelation okay we've all been a part of this community in one way or another and to be fair almost every single gaming community is toxic but this one has its she has her quirks okay and i love being a part of her this isn't me trying to you know throw shade or anything i've not even named anyone you know what i mean but i feel like as a prominent sims creator i you know you we should probably talk about this but this was like a step too far not like any harassment was a step within the lines like obviously harassing anyone is too far but this was like out of character for her let me just say and because of that there's a couple of things i want to touch on regarding this subject because i don't want to just regurgitate news that you've probably already heard because i am miles way too late for this but the sims community herself has a reputation for being entitled and i feel like that's a word that's thrown around very loosely in this community like oh you want seasons to be in the base game you're entitled you want expansion packs to be cheaper well that's because you're entitled you know they just kind of throw that word around whenever you have genuine criticism about the game but this is the textbook definition of oh my god you are entitled the way i see it when you pay for a game and you buy it from a triple a developer you have the right to make demands i like to think that you can it doesn't mean they're gonna listen to you because obviously the world doesn't revolve around you but you are allowed to criticize it very freely to be honest you paid for it it's technically yours say whatever you want but mods are something that literally no one has the right to even the mod creator themselves yes some modders make a fair bit of money from donations but you have to remember those are donations that is just from the good of your heart especially because as far as i know ea has made it illegal to actually force other people to pay for your mods you have to release your sims custom content free in one way or another because it's not your ip you are not allowed to own it so when you download a mod and it doesn't work or it needs updating personally i don't think you have a right to start bitching about it because one modding is not a right it is a privilege and two you don't own it any more than the modder does and even beyond that even if you had a right to say you know what fix this i need this fixed you kind of don't at the same time because the motherfucker was on vacation you are allowed to take breaks and this is something okay this is why i got a little bit triggered because as a content creator i get harassed all the fucking time for a myriad of reasons mostly for being arab and being a woman but i have gotten harassed quite a bit especially recently when i haven't uploaded a build review for example the build review that happened this week i'm pretty sure it's this week i have no concept of time it's like a month late and i've had so many people send very threatening messages to me because it was late and i think it's just kind of wild because you have to remember both me and a modder are just one person and you know i find it very flattering that you like my content so much that you're willing to threaten me because i'm not getting it out fast enough but at the same time i am not your circus monkey turbo driver isn't your circus monkey the fact that you were so down bad that you were going to dock someone because you couldn't fucking flick your bean over your sims for what a week i think it took them like a week to update it it's like what the fuck i mean to be honest this community has a problem with harassing the actual ea developers anyway which is also like a huge fucking no-no i don't know did you guys ever hear about bullying do you know what that is have you ever heard of that i've ever heard how that's like a bad fucking thing to do especially for somebody who is doing something for you for free i know i know that you can donate to their patreon but you can also donate download Wicked Whims for free. It's kind of great. You can just have that for free. Somebody else's hard work could be yours for the low, low price of actually zero. And you know what the sad thing is? You know what the sad thing is? This motherfucker updated the mod while they were still on vacation. That is so sad to me. That is actually so upsetting. If it was me, I would have deleted the damn thing. I would have been like, you know what? Maybe you guys don't deserve it. Maybe I know it would be really sad because it's a very small amount of people that mess it up for everybody else. But honestly, Honestly, I'd be so anxious every time a fucking Sims update comes out because then it's like, oh, well, I've got to fix this right now or else I'm going to get doxxed again. Also, I'm like a firm believer that if you are going to say or do something shitty, you should be called out on it. Obviously, I don't believe in bullying anyone, not even bad people. But, you know, if somebody says something that's very out of pocket, very not nice, you're going to get called out on it because you can't you can't live in this world without consequences, right? And hopefully when you realize that the thing that you did wasn't nice, you change because you also have to think about your intentions with what you say which is something that confuses me with the doxers because obviously they dox this person because
because in their mind, they were like, you owe me something. So you're going to face the consequences, quote unquote, which isn't obviously this is wrong. We don't do this. But I think in their head, they had the hopes that they would update it faster. But I don't know if it was me, I probably would step away from the computer when that happens. You know, I feel like that would make the mod update take longer. I don't know. So if it was me, if I was Turbo, I would have been like, you know what? If you're going to dock someone, then no mod for anybody else. Imagine how shit that must feel. You dock someone and now the thing you love gone forever. That's called a fucking consequence. But anyway, Turbo Driver has more balls than I do. But then it brings us down to this question of why did this happen? Because, you know, The Sims is a very tumultuous community, but there are definitely way worse gaming communities out there, which is why I love her. You know, she's kind of like that cousin that when you see sometimes at family gatherings, you're like, oh my fuck fucking god not this bitch again but then you have a heart to heart sometimes and you're like you know what maybe i was too quick to judge and then she breaks a fucking glass and you're like you know what this is why i never fucked with this bitch but this is like very out of pocket for the sims community and a lot of people have theorized it's because the game is free to play now which means a lot of people are in this community now and they're also downloading a lot of mods because they don't want to pay for the other packs which honestly fair don't blame them and i don't know how i feel about that theory i feel like making a game free to play definitely opens it up to anybody which can be a good thing and also a very very bad thing so i don't know i don't really have any thoughts about that i rarely have thoughts anyway i think we all need to take a little bit of perspective and really think about what our intentions are when we communicate with other people because i feel like social media has got like okay i don't want to sound like a fucking boomer like oh my god social media is so bad for you but i feel like it's gotten very aggressive recently <laughs> i feel like people actually forget that there are real people on the other side of the screen and i know we've heard that like a million fucking times but imagine if it was you like it was just ridiculous it's fucking ridiculous and it's like when you think about the type of mod that it is that people were mad about it just makes it even more ridiculous like that's just prawn addiction at that point i genuinely don't even know how it's not mainstream news at this point it's just crazy it's crazy but anyway turbo driver is actually like the fucking goat i hope they're doing okay i hope all the other mod creators who were harassed are doing okay just you know chillax you know there are other methods to goon your poon you know, you could, they're so broad in your horizons. I'm gonna stop talking about it there. Here's a montage of the build and peace out. <laughs>